This is so sad, but so real. Picture this, a 15 year old kid in a lower income household. Financially speaking, this child to the medical industry is an absolute gold mine. Statistically, there's a good chance this kid either has prediabetes or type two diabetes, which is because they're eating a significant amount of ultra processed foods, seed oils, and sugar. Because they're eating like this, they likely have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and are overweight, if not obese. We're of course not gonna let this child die, which is one thing that Western medicine is actually pretty good at, making us live longer when we're sick. But this kid will likely be on medication for the rest of their life. They will need a statin for their high cholesterol, insulin for their diabetes, Adderall for their ADHD, Ambien because they can't sleep, then we'll prescribe opioids for their chronic pain, SSRIs for their depression, and the list goes on and on. They're gonna need to be on all these pills, continuously visiting all these doctors and psychiatrists. Now, this isn't the doctor's fault, they're doing their job, it's the system they're in. We're traditionally led to believe that the medical system is treating these people, but what if you take a different perspective and follow the money? How many doctors are making a salary off just this one kid? How many companies are profiting from all the prescriptions they're taking? Here's a little secret, they're not making money if you're healthy. The healthcare industry is currently the fastest growing industry in the United States. And that might sound like a good thing, but it's largely due to the rate at which people are getting sick. At the end of the day, it's a greedy business and it's designed that way to keep you going back.